Yo, this is Soldier on 86 bringing you another video. So I know you guys seen the videos uh, going around about the roster and most importantly, Brock Lesnar um, being said to be in the game, but not being a playable character in the game. So I made this video, uh, making this video pretty much to talk about, again, showcase mode, because remember I had that video talking about showcase and how disappointed I was that the last three matches to be revealed were the Brock Lesnar matches. Um, so I guess this video is kind of to see where you guys are at with this as well. Um, is this a situation where they're just going to give us 18 matches after promoting 21 matches this whole time? Um, I mean, by the time that I upload this video, we might already have some answers. So everything in this video could just kind of not matter at the end but uh only time will tell i know they're going to get into a lot of the stuff next start next week um all the way up until the 28th so i mean we'll see but this does make me wonder what's going to happen like uh are they just gonna wait to give us three matches later at a later date are we stuck with 18? Which that would be kind of crappy. You've been talking about 21 matches being in the showcase mode and to only end up with 18 because of the whole Brock Lesnar situation. That'd be that'd be kind of crappy. Like if we're just being honest, that'd be <laughs> that, that would be really, really horrible, man. So I'm hoping that that's not the case. Another thing that I was thinking about is this going to be a situation where now, I don't know how long this would take. It feels like it would take a bit of time because, again, you know, I'm not a video game programmer, engineer. I'm nothing, nothing like that, right? <clears throat> so how much time would it take for – look, if he's not a playable character, but say he's still in the showcase, they still have his matches, are they going to switch it to you being – the you know i guess whoever he was fighting like are you going to be undertaker for the end of streak match and then they'll just have a cut scene take over to when undertaker loses but the whole time you were controlling undertaker right and i can't remember the other two matches uh like the ones he had with like roman reigns i can't even remember who won those but if brock won one of them are you going to be roman reigns in it and not Brock like I don't you know what I mean like it's just it's weird like is he going to be in showcase but just not playable in exhibition mode you know it's kind of all up in the air um, and again like I said for the for the at least for the taker match where he won because he ended the streak are they going to switch it to where you you're taker but that would take a lot of reworking the match you know what I mean like just because you get these checklist on what to do you know damage him until his he's you know uh moderate level or you know he's critical um do such and such move to him in the corner you know you just you get all of these you know objectives to do in the match and they're catered towards who you're controlling so i don't know i don't know if that's an option um the sucky option could be we just get 18 matches. Now, if they're going to come out and say, listen, we are going to add in three more showcase matches for you guys because we did promise you 21. I don't know. Um, or could this be a situation where we do end up getting, because Muhammad Ali is in the game, are we getting the WrestleMania one match? With Piper, Mr. Wonderful versus Hogan and Mr. T. Are we going to get Shawn Michaels versus Kurt, uh, Kurt Angle? Are we going to get Triple H versus Kane? Or are we going to get Triple H versus Randy Orton? It's like it's a toss up. It's like it, it, this is it, this is very interesting to see. <laughs> to be honest, this is very, very interesting. Um, because, look, I'm not upset that Brock Lesnar isn't playable in this game. I'm really not. Where I'll get upset is not having 21 matches for Showcase. I get Showcase has its flaws, and I understand that a lot of people aren't fans of Showcase. I've been a fan of the Showcase mode ever since THQ was doing it when they started doing um, like the Attitude Era mode in WWE 13. And then, of course, the 30 years of WrestleMania for uh, 2K14. 
So I've always pretty much enjoyed them. I, I even liked the 2K15 showcase, the, the CM Punk and John Cena one, and then the Shawn Michaels and Triple H one, and then there was DLC. I didn't play the Mark Henry one, but I did play the uh, Path, Path of a Warrior, the Ultimate Warrior uh, showcase. I thought those were phenomenal. Um, I love the Stone Cold one in 2K16. The Stone Cold one was probably the best one outside, like for 2K. Not for the THQ ones, but for 2K, I think 2K16 showcase by far was the best. Um, I like Daniel Bryan's um, in 2K, what, 19? 2K19 showcase with Daniel Bryan was pretty cool. The only thing I didn't like was they got rid of, that was the first year they got rid of the intros. So you didn't see the entrances. Um, I'm not a I'm not a fan of the slingshot tech because I'm going to have to edit that out when I upload it on my channel. So I'm definitely not a fan of the slingshot uh, tech. And I feel like the slingshot tech takes away more of the match than when you were actually watching it be done with the video game and like the cutscenes. If it, it feels like they do more um, with the slingshot tech, like the Rey Mysterio one and the John Cena one the past two years, it felt like whenever it went to the real life footage, it's like I could just put my controller down. That's how long it took. I didn't like that. I was not a fan of that. Um, so we're going to have to deal with that again. But it, it's I feel like the scenes are a little bit too, a little bit too long. I don't think that it's necessary. I kind of wish that they would just let us at least change it to um, either play the matches and make sure you have the outcome that it was in real life or make it more of a what if scenario. So like WrestleMania 10, what if Shawn Michaels won the ladder match instead of Razor Ramon? I wish they would at least do that. So I'm not a fan of the slingshot tech. I understand everybody's complaints with it. I have it too. However, I do enjoy single player modes. Showcase obviously is a single player mode. I am always going to be a champion for modes like that, right? When you're going through some sort of objective based mode you know what i mean like some sort of ob objective based mode that's why I, I want you know a season mode back it's why i want a road to wrestlemania back something like that um so i enjoy showcase so i mean look if we can get another Shawn michaels match that's my that's come on man Shawn michaels is the goat i'm not going to be upset with another Shawn michaels match love kurt angle um triple h you gotta have triple h in the showcase man uh, the first trailer shows Triple H at, what was it, Wrestle, at, what WrestleMania was it? When it was when they were doing, it was the first trailer for showing like uh, the 40 years of WrestleMania. And you see Triple H at a WrestleMania arena. And he's posing, he's doing the intro, or he's doing his entrance. Um, and then they show Shawn Michaels, but Shawn Michaels is at a Raw, a current Raw arena but everybody pointed out the fact that Shawn Michaels is wearing the same ring attire that he wore when he fought Kurt Angle. So I'm hoping that if Brock is not a playable character, I'm actually would be okay if he was completely out of showcase to begin with. If he was out of the showcase mode to begin with, I'll be very happy because that means that we're getting three matches that are still going to be a surprise that we know nothing about. We know nothing about right now. Um, and you know, a lot of people speculated and there was that video that surfaced where the guy was showing the menu and it was unlocked and it was all of the matches and the last three matches that he showed were Brock Lesnar matches. So it was kind of hard to be like, well, is this video fake? Did he do some type of editing? It's hard to tell because when they, when they got to play the game early, all those other matches were locked, but yet this dude's video Everything was unlocked, unlocked as if he had the game already. So it was like, I don't know. And then the fact that those three matches are still a mystery. We all know that they're, WWE is doing everything possible to hide anything Vince McMahon and anything Brock Lesnar. And so it was like, well, are they not showing those last three matches because they're Brock Lesnar matches? Or do they really want to surprise us and say, like, here we go. Now, 2K is not a stranger to putting celebrities in the game. You know, they always put, you know, they, they got what? What's his name? Um, gosh, I forgot his name. I don't listen to mainstream music. Uh, Post Malone. He's in the game. 
this year. So they're, they, you know, they, and then what was it? Uh, MGK, whatever his name is. I don't know. I, 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 I really don't mess with mainstream music, but they, they put rappers and whatnot in the game. Like they, they, they do that. So it's like, yeah, they could just randomly put Muhammad Ali in this game. And just kind of have it be a nod to, hey, remember when he was a part of WrestleMania and this year we're kind of doing the whole showcase. But that's another just just another weird thing for me. You know, there's a reason why the Bad Bunny, I think Bad Bunny is a musician and he's in the game. Um, But there's always reasons why they put people like that in 2K. And I'm like, you would really put Muhammad Ali in this game? And not do the the WrestleMania one match. And I know that they haven't revealed every character that's in the game necessarily. I think there's still more to be revealed. It's like, could they be hiding the fact that they got Mr. Wonderful in the game? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of it is wishful thinking. I know that it's probably not at all that. <laughs> but uh, on, on, for me, it's wishful thinking, man. Because 2K on this channel, as you guys know, sometimes I'll upload some current wrestlers uh, matches on here. Um, But there's going to be a lot of old school WWF on this channel. I mean, get ready. I mean, those of you who who subscribed when I was doing the universe mode, you already know. Um, There will be a plethora of 80s, 90s, Attitude Era, um, even some Ruthless Aggression stuff. It will be all over this channel. Trust me. Trust me. Um, But I would love to have Mr. Wonderful. I'm glad we got George the Animal Steel. I think that's awesome. We got Miss Elizabeth back. I don't know why she's been missing from these games, man. Miss Elizabeth is one of the greatest, man. She was so classy and so just soft-spoken. I mean, you know, rest in peace, man. She was awesome. She She was awesome. So it's nice to have her and not have to download... A Miss Elizabeth from Community Creations. Now, when we use Macho Man, we actually get to have Miss Elizabeth with him. So that's a big, big, big plus for me. A big plus. We get Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I've had to download Ricky the Dragon Steamboat the last couple years because I think the last time he was in the game was 2K19? Because I believe he was in 2K19. Um, so it's nice to get these people back. It's nice to get George the Animal still. He ain't been in the game since, I think, SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. Um, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with the the Legends list. I think it could, I think it could still be better. Um, I do think it still could be better. But we do have community creations, so it is what it is. I'll download. I'm, I'm going to be a little more picky and choosy about what I download from community creations as well this time because running out of room with the thousand image limit that we still have, by the way. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man, but let me, let me, let me know what you guys think in the, in the comment section, man. How do you think that this is going to go again? By the time this video is uploaded, it's probably not even going to matter. But do you think we only get 18 matches with matches later? Add it in later? Are they going to find some way to switch who you're controlling? Say if you had to control Brock Lesnar in the in the showcase, how easy is that to switch to being the other person? Because to me, they got to go through the whole... That takes a long time, I would think. I would think that takes a long time. They already said that it took... It was too late in the game to to take him out. The report is that he's in the game. He's just not playable. So I don't know. Do we have the showcase matches that I mentioned? Is it the HBK and Kurt Angle? And is it the WrestleMania 1 match? And let me know what you guys think, man. Because I know a lot of you agree with me in my last video about uh, showcase. Like a lot of you were on the same page, man. Um, I would love to see three non-Brock matches. That's just that's, that's that's my personal taste. So, I mean, we'll see how this goes, man. Um, to me, I do want 21 matches. I definitely don't want to get this game and it be 18 matches available because we can't use Brock Lesnar. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, I did also hear 
there was another YouTuber that was putting up. He puts up content all the time. Um, and I can't, I can't remember his name. I feel bad that I can't remember his name. But he was showing, they were showing like something in the menu. I found it on Twitter or X. But again, <laughs> this is the same person who put up an image of WrestleMania 14, Shawn Michaels versus Stone Cold. And we know that that's not in the showcase. So it could just not mean anything at all. But we could get 22 matches in showcase because apparently there's a bonus match. Apparently it might not be real. Apparently there's a bonus match. I don't know. Kind of like uh, the, the bonus match that you did with um, the John Cena one in 2K23. But anyways, man, I'm now I'm rambling. I'm just talking and whatever. Let me know what you guys feel in the comments. Uh, appreciate you for watching, um, as always. And until next time, this is Soul Drum 86, and I'm out. Peace.